Uh, you say you're anxious about COVID. Imagine an elementary teacher as we approach the beginning of the school year with policymakers desperate not to draw the ire of the donor class, pretending it's all about individual choice and responsibility. I, I believe me, I, I, uh, it is, um, it is, uh, I, I mean, I, I, I feel for teachers. It's going to be, I, I we're going to have a better sense, but I don't know what, uh, it's going to be, I, I'm afraid that we're going to have a real, real problem. And particularly if you're in a red state. Uh, that's interesting. We got this. Uh, there's a report out there. And it, it I, I've seen this now. It was just covered, I guess, um, by the uh, uh, Miami Herald. Um, put up this uh, clip. We got an email from a listener who is a, a teacher in Florida. And um, DeSantis is so terrified um about what's going on with covid they are sending now a thousand dollar bonuses to florida's teachers like uh, school staff principals anyways i don't know if they're doing full uh, school staff and first responders and uh, the big um sort of concession was it's not going to have the governor's logo on there um can we put up these pictures brad Let's see the the first one. What's interesting is um, so this is this is actually coming from the four hundred million dollars in uh, COVID relief, and they're using that to offer bonuses to teachers, principals, police, firefighters, uh, pandemics, other first responders. Um, Santos, of course, trying to uh, make it look like he's putting out that money. Um, here, put this up. Uh, oh, do we have it? Okay. All right. So, and this is interesting. Oh, put up the other one first. Put up the other ones first because they're trying to make it like it's just like a, hey, great job, guys. We're all done. Don't worry about a thing. Okay. This past year has, has came with challenges that required an extraordinary level of determination and perseverance. Tens of millions of students throughout the country were denied the opportunity to attend school in person. Florida put students and families first. Mm hmm. <laughs> Uh, which made a because because so many other people were like we're not going to put our families and friend uh, kids first that uh, we're gonna we're putting our interest in not having a functioning society first. Well, liberals right. want to kill the children and the abortions and such. Made a huge difference for millions of students and families throughout the state. And this would not have been a, a, a possible without your best efforts. Uh, do you see the word COVID in there? And DeSantis writes a letter does not use the word covid or pandemic or coronavirus or coronavirus nothing it's just sort of like hey some of these libs were uh, shutting down their schools but you didn't so here's a thousand dollar bonus oh and incidentally here's our just um you know this is put up the next one the next letter this is like the functional equivalent of that thing at the end of ads where they speed up the guy talking you know, none of this may be used, but if it comes to do that type of thing like this, well, here, put up that uh, uh, letter, Bradley. Here it is. And then there's the little bit of a caveat at the end here, which says uh, this payment is one time payment to reimburse for reasonable and necessary personnel, family and living and funeral expenses oh, incurred as a result of the COVID-19 pandemic. This could include the unreimbursed costs of home equipment and services, utilities, protective equipment, and cleaning supplies for personal use, childcare, and educational materials, tutoring, health, wellness, and medical expenses not covered by insurance, costs of caring for and supporting vulnerable family members, and funeral costs. This payment is considered qualified disaster relief payment under Section 139 of the Internal Revenue Code. Qualified disaster relief payments under 139 are generally not includable in gross income for tax purposes and are not reportable as income on a federal income tax return. There may be tax implications depending on your individual circumstances. You should consult your tax advisor, of course, for more information. Regard. So, Please consult your doctor. Yeah. Yeah. And if you sprinkle like lime juice on it, uh, a hidden writing says, don't ask for any more. Anything else? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God we made it throughout the whole political thing that was going on before. And then uh, please see addendum for the actual reality of what's going on. Folks, there's more of what you've just saw where that came from. That's if you hit the subscribe and like button. Thank you. Really. Thank you.